Transaction templates are used to help you enter repeated transactions more quickly so you can work more efficiently. Each time you enter a banking transaction manually, iBank automatically creates a template based on that transaction, recording its type, payee, category, splits, memo, and withdrawal or deposit amount. Transaction templates are used to auto-fill transaction details when new transactions are recorded, to schedule transactions that need to be recorded at regular intervals, and to clean and categorize transactions that you import into your accounts with import rules. When you create a transaction in an account register and begin typing in the payee field, iBank will automatically suggest names based on your transaction templates. Use the mouse to click one of the names, or use the arrow keys to select one, and then press the tab or return key. iBank will fill in several of the transaction details based on the template associated with that payee. These results will be shaded yellow as a result. If you don't want to accept a suggestion, simply ignore it and continue typing. When you save the transaction, iBank will create a new template automatically. iBank maintains a list of all the transactions it has memorized under Transaction Templates in the source list. When you select a template in the list, the transaction editor will appear to let you make changes, just as it does for transactions in the account register. You will notice, however, that the date field is replaced with a schedule button and an import rules button is displayed next to the payee field. As with regular transactions, you can edit any of the fields shown here and click save to record the changes. Any changes you make to your templates will automatically be applied to new transactions that are created using the template. You can create a new transaction template from scratch by clicking the plus button at the bottom of the list and filling in the relevant information. To delete a template so that it will no longer be used for autofill, scheduled transactions, and imports, select it and click the minus button at the bottom of the list. Any scheduled transactions associated with the template will be deleted as well. Transaction templates may also have split items associated with them. Select a template and click the schedule button to configure the template to post a transaction to one of your accounts at regular intervals. Doing so will also add the template to the Scheduled Transactions item in the source list. Scheduled transactions can be created to track financial activities that occur on a repeating basis, for example, a monthly mortgage payment or bi-weekly paycheck. There are several ways to create a scheduled transaction. In the Scheduled Transactions item on the source list, click the plus button at the bottom of the register. A new template will be added to the list and the inspector will pop up automatically to let you edit the template schedule. Select one or more transactions in any account register and choose Transaction – Make Scheduled Transactions from the selection. A new transaction template will be created with details of each transaction that was selected and assigned a monthly schedule. Drag and drop a transaction from any account register onto the Scheduled Transactions item in the source list. A new transaction template will be created with details of the transaction and a monthly schedule. Select Scheduled Transactions in the source list and click All Templates at the bottom of the register. Select any template you would like to use as a scheduled transaction, then click the Schedule button in the Transaction Editor to add a schedule to the template. Scheduled transactions can be edited at any time from the Scheduled Transactions register. Select the template you want to edit and click the button where the transaction date is shown the Schedule Inspector will appear. Choose which account the transaction will be posted to. Enter the date on which the next transaction will be posted to the account. Enter a number and choose a period of time to indicate how often the transaction will be posted. Choose Stop After and enter a number to have only a fixed number of transactions posted to the account. The schedule will be deleted after the last transaction has been posted. Choose Unlimited to have the schedule continue posting transactions until it is modified or deleted. For Reminders, choose Always to show an alert when the transaction is due to be posted to the account, so that you can edit the transaction details and choose whether or not to post the transaction at that time. Choose Never to post the transaction automatically whenever it is due without confirmation. Check the Add to iCal option and choose a calendar to create an event in iCal for the transaction's next due date. When you post or skip the transaction, a new iCal event will be automatically created for the next due date. 
In iCal, you can view the event and click the displayed URL to open the scheduled transaction in iBank. Any changes you make to the event in iCal will not affect the scheduled transaction, but if you delete the event, the Add to iCal option will be unchecked in iBank. The summary pane at the bottom left corner of the main window shows the next three upcoming scheduled transactions. Click the arrow next to any scheduled transaction to view and edit it in the main scheduled transactions list. In the Transaction Templates register, select a template and click the Import Rules button to configure how the template is used when you import data via direct download using the built-in browser or from a file. Import rules are used to help you import transactions more efficiently. Files imported from banks often contain extraneous information or are not worded the way you would like them to be. Import rules allow you to import your data using words that make sense to you. Additionally, import rules allow you to assign categories to your transactions automatically. First, start an import. The import window will appear. You can edit the incoming transactions just like the transactions in a typical account register. If you make a change to a transaction's payee, transaction type, category, or memo, and save the transaction, iBank will ask if you want to create an import rule for the change. If you choose Create Rule, iBank will create a template based on the new transaction details and attach two import rules to it, one that looks for payees that match the transaction's original payee, and one that checks that the destination account is the same as the current import. If you don't want iBank to create a rule for the changes you make, choose Don't Create Rule after saving the transaction. iBank will remember that transaction's original payee and will not prompt you for any future changes made to imported transactions with that payee. If you ever want iBank to prompt you for that payee in the future, choose iBank Preferences and click Reset Import Rules Exclusion iBank will forget its list of excluded payees and prompt you to create rules for all changes that you make in the import window. To view the import rules that are currently in use, select Import Rules in the source list. A list of transaction templates that have import rules attached to them will appear on the right. Edit the template details just as you would edit a transaction in a standard account register. When an upcoming transaction matches the import rules for that template, the transaction type, payee, memo, category, and splits from the template will be applied to it. You can modify the import rules by making any necessary changes in this window. Each transaction that you import before it is saved to your accounts will be evaluated by the rules in this window in order to determine whether or not the template should be applied to it. For additional help with this topic, see the iBank help files under Transaction Templates, Scheduled Transactions, and Import Rules.